Hi, this is Icebound, and I am going to be playing XCOM Long War. Now, Long War is a mod for XCOM Enemy Unknown and Enemy Within. XCOM is a tactical squad game where you basically fight against aliens and you make strategic decisions on base building and very fun game. I've always loved the series, um, but I have not tried Long War. Uh, what I know of Long War is that it makes the game uh, much harder. There's a lot more strategy to it, a lot of levels to it, a lot of layers, and uh, it adds a whole nother level of complexity uh, to a game that was already pretty complex. Um, so I, I'm pretty excited to be trying this. Uh, I don't know anything about Long War other than what I just said. I am going into this totally blind. I haven't seen past this screen. So this series will be dedicated to me kind of learning it, making mistakes, progressing forward, and just kind of figuring this out as I go along. Um, and there will definitely be some user interaction, uh, you know, some decisions can be made through comments, etc. So I feel like it can be a good experience. Uh, and with that, I am going to start. We're gonna go to Long War, we're gonna do Normal, which is what was recommended to me. Advanced options, we're going to do Iron Man because uh, it's a YouTube series. I don't feel like I could film a YouTube video, go back, fix some of the mistakes I've made, and then progress forward and pretend like nothing happened. So Iron Man is very fitting for a YouTube series. And with that, we are ready to start the game. And I believe there's going to be a cutscene, so we, I will just shut up so you can watch it. of the recent extraterrestrial incursion, this Council of Nations has convened to approve the activation of the XCOM project. You have been chosen to lead this initiative to oversee our first and last line of defense. Your efforts will have considerable influence on this planet's future. We urge you to keep that in mind as you proceed. So, first things first, we have to select a place for the base to be situated. Uh, North America, we would have better aircraft, essentially. Europe, we have better labs, workshops, and, and uh, training schools. Asia, 
uh, foundry projects are less, South America power facilities are less, and on Africa, we just get more money per month. On regular XCOM, I always liked Africa because you get, um, I just enjoyed having the extra money. But I feel like long war, I want to actually go Europe because I do like using laboratories and workshops a lot. Officer training school is very useful. And I feel like this would really uh, come in handy. So we are going to go with Europe. The next deployment site is in the UK. We've picked up a local broadcast indicating alien activity within a major metropolitan area. We should get down there and eliminate any hostiles. All right, so basic first mission is destroy all targets. Should be simple enough. Uh, I don't know what to expect in Long War, but I imagine it's gonna be considerably harder than uh, the first mission of the regular XCOM, but take it step by step, move slowly, and we'll see what we can do. First, take a look. We're on the back right corner. There's a building right here. It's up to here. If we go out into the fog, we'll eventually hit another boundary. Looks like the majority of this is gonna be taking place within the building itself. So let us prepare for that. Um, we want to be careful about how far we forward we move. Uh, if we trigger an enemy up here, we could be in uh, deep trouble. But I think the first step I want to do is run up to here. And he is going to wait. And we're going to have a second person okay. step up to here and wait. Next step is going to be have this guy step to the back, watching for flanks. He's going to have a partner that's going to move with him. See, the scary part about where we've started is the distinct lack of uh, cover for this side. We have the trash can and we have a couple of these things, but that's about it. So we're going to have two teams of three for this. And currently... Uh, we're going to have this team, they're going to peek their head in, and there could still be someone in here, the fog, this game has some weird mechanics when it comes to vision, even though it looks like I can see all the way in, there might be an enemy right here, and there might be an enemy up here. Uh, so with that, we want to end our turn. Okay. Don't really like that this is just a narrow wall because if they catch us down here we're essentially in like a shooting gallery. So I think what we want to do actually switch these teams up a little bit. We're going to have this person run here, this person run here, and this person run to here. You are going to sprint to here, sprint to here, and sprint to here. Already there. We can have you wait. got to get these people straightened out. I forgot that medics can't overwatch, I guess, in Long War. I'm not quite sure. Oh, no, they can. I lied. Right, overwatch you. Overwatch you. Overwatch you. I'm just going to be patient. All right, it looks like they're actually on the roof, potentially. Right, Melv's over here, but that sound... The... It definitely looked like it was coming from above, and it looks like this is a two-story building. 
so team B is going to step. We're going to have him step yes, one commander. space inside, apparently three spaces inside. And we don't trigger anything, but we don't want to go too far in just yet. Next step is we're going to have him run in all the way. Come down. And you run in. Knock her down. Let's have you play leapfrog. We have a melt canister. I feel like there's going to be enemies guarding it. But for now, we have one person waiting. Not a lot of cover um, as we move forward. So I'm not quite sure how I feel about that. But we will have you step to here. Moving. Doesn't trigger anything. So you will run back. Nothing triggered out to here. She can overwatch. He can overwatch. And we're just gonna wait. A door has been opened nearby. Where was it opened? I don't know, but I swear I heard it. So what we wanna do You step to here and open this door. And we don't see anything. So what I would like is for this person to step That's here. Overwatch and this person yes, step here and overwatch. Our goal right now is to leapfrog our way forward up this direction. Meanwhile, second team will hopefully be progressing up this direction. Alright. Gotta be really careful of them being out here. So if I hop to here, do we have anything? Let's overwatch you. Let's overwatch you. Let's have you. Let's have here. Overwatch, and you here, Overwatch. And there they are, with a drone behind them. We're witnessing something never before seen and recorded here. We have a perfect flank. We got another one dead, another one down, any of them? Alright, we got one down. We should look closely for any fragments that could be salvaged. Unfortunately, I might still lose. No, alright, we're good there. Alright, alright. Now we've got some choices, thankfully. Okay, so if I run by this door, there's a chance there's a ton in here that could trigger. So what I would prefer to do is have her step inside to that location. at a flank position and take him out immediately. Because that's a guaranteed kill that puts her out of danger. Um, the next step is to um, essentially move from cover to cover. Overwatch. You go to here. And Overwatch. He has a 22%, which is not even close to enough. So what we want is for her to hunker down. He's going to trigger out here and overwatch. 22% overwatch. Alright. He hunkered down, which means that he's not anticipating fighting at all. He's just trying to protect himself. Um, which means that if I can get a quick flank, again, not knowing what's in this area is terrifying. So what I would prefer to do is step to here, look inside, 
I'm okay with triggering that currently. And then I would like to move even closer across this direction. I want her to do a move into here on Overwatch. They're moving up this direction, so what I would like to do... There might be more out here that I don't know about, or down here. So I'm kind of content with those guys' position currently. Uh, but I do want to move him forward and hunker down. And... He's in a good spot right now for an overwatch. That's a half cover, half cover, half cover. I don't like any of those half covers. Um, he can overwatch just fine. I would prefer this individual to run here. I am very intrigued how he located them from that positioning. Um, well, I guess that's what I get for being hasty in my movements, I guess. But all three of my guys are currently flanked. Okay, he needs to run back to here. I'm in a definite... Ah, these misses are painful for the overwatches, but if I can somehow get through this turn without any casualties, it will be a miracle. Is going. Doesn't even want to show me. Alright. Be gentle. <laughs> Alright, let's see it. Whiff. Here it comes. Alright, there's the whiff we needed. Second whiff. Second whiff. She's perfectly flanked, and they had a double whiff. That is very fortunate. He's overwatching currently. So I think what I want to do is actually throw this grenade right here. To try and... Wow. That is a weak-ass grenade. Alright. Do they have any overwatches currently ready for me? All right, all right, what do we got? This is a flashbang, disorient, severe aim and move penalties. That could be useful. Or I can land a grenade like this, take them both out. There you go. I, I do realize that I will not have the insectoids, but right now, survival is very, very, very key. To recover from the bodies. Just something to consider. Currently, I think Already that running there. her weight. Thank God she missed, or he missed, because that that's a pretty BS Overwatch. I don't really see how he sees through the dumpster, through all that. But. Like I said, vision in this game can be a little wonky. All right, so what do we have? There were three guys in here. There is one guy here. And there is one guy way out here. So I think what we need from this person is to dash. Um, no. We need this person in this cover, potentially getting a good shot, 23%, no. This person should overwatch, this person should step here, and overwatch. But this guy repositions. He's mind melding with one of the individuals inside. What's this other guy gonna do? Just gonna wait, apparently. I feel like he didn't overwatch. I shouldn't have done it the way that I did. 
but I was very, I wanted to be very careful. Why is this a 33% chance? I kind of feel like I'm flanking him right now. But, huh. Well, I say we just have her step back so she's not in danger. This guy has an even less chance to hit, but I think that he should wait. Actually, I don't want to check that just yet. We're going to have this guy move to here. And this is not a bad time for him to overwatch. 23% chance, not worth it. There's still the guy out here somewhere. What do we got? Got the guy here, got that guy doing that. Huh. Let's open the door. I don't want to get flanked from behind. Here's what we're going to do. These guys are all going to come very far down. 68% chance to hit this guy out there. That's a chance I'm actually going to take. 68 is a good chance. There you go. All right. That definitely helps. Okay, so that makes it so that I can step to here and throw a grenade right here. Suck on this. Did that get the truck at all, which was my goal? If I didn't get the truck, then my guy might be in danger. And if that's the case, I feel like I might need to throw the flashbang. I don't want to. But you kind of have to do what's necessary. Unless I have a good shot, I don't. Okay. So we're going to be just out of range of that flashbang. Wow. Wow, look at that. All right. We're going to hunker down then. 22% chance. We're going to have you... Step inside and hook it up. I don't see what's happening. Every once in a while, the camera does that where it just kind of stops moving. All right, that was to be expected. At least he didn't die. The cover certainly helped him there. All right, what do we got? We had a 45% chance. Can we make this better? I think that we certainly can. By stepping. Okay, there's a guy being mind melded right here. So I feel like this might be a position that would get flanked currently. So. This position is getting flanked, but I believe it's also flanking. Kind of taking a high risk here, but I think... There we go, 100% chance. Alright. Can't dodge that. Alright, then we're going to have you step to here. Do we see anyone? Alright, we've got three in flanked positions. We have 72% chance to hit across the board. I like that I'm flanking them, but I feel like this is a dead position if I try. So this is going to be a hunker down. I would love for you to step here and potentially give me vision of the guy down there. Nope, not currently. Let's see what happens if I step out to here. That guy pieced very quickly out of this situation. He's probably back up into here somewhere. So what we're going to do is we're going to step to here and wait. And you are going to dash across here and join. Alright, 
last guy. Completely out of ammo. Can probably step to here. And be okay. And we let go. Alright. There's the truck explosion I was banking on. Very fortunate that missed. Alright, we have a half cover overwatch behind that truck. This ammo, this weapon's out of ammo. I feel like if I move him, I get shot. So, what do we do first? I think what I want to do is actually move these guys and try and get a nice flank going. Um, that overwatch will probably trigger across here. So I don't think I want to tango with that. What I do want to do is potentially move up to here. Okay. I knew that wouldn't trigger. I'm going to overwatch you in case they come to flank me. That will probably shoot to here. Here we have a 42% chance. Don't really like that. So what we're going to do is hunker down. Hunker down. Hunker down. He will get shot long distance from that. So we're going to have him go way wide. And Overwatch is fine. Yeah, here we go. Did we get the kill? There we go. Successful Overwatch is successful. Huzzah. Alright. Look at how proud she looks. They're certainly retreating. And then repositioning. Alright, we have a stronger overwatch this time. Because... He is being mind melded. But I think if I can get... To here... I don't have any view inside. What about over here? Still no view. Alright, Overwatch, Overwatch. Heading to that location. Can we get here and be safe? Yes. 35 and 35. Can I get this grenade in range? No. Maybe? There we go. Only two. Oh, I keep throwing the wrong grenade. I'm just so used to clicking their grenade that I'm used to from uh, the original. Or from, sorry, from Enemy Within. Let's see if I can cross this gap. It'll be okay. Then I would like to get to here. This guy's my flank if I can manage it. He's in Overwatch still, so I don't want to try at 44% chance. It's not great. 44%. Let's flip the let's flip a coin. That was a very bad coin toss. <laughs> uh, let's have you over, or hunker down. All right, we're gonna mind meld. Alright, he shot instead of overwatching, which gives us a window of opportunity. If we can bum rush our way around this corner. Heading to that location. Let's see what we got around here. We can see both of them, 24 and 39. I think that I want to overwatch you. And move you. 
around into this corner. All right, 35, 35. I don't like either of those. But what can my flanking individual do? Nothing yet. Maybe he can do something here? No. Can he land a grenade? No. Useless. Oh. He's, he'll be useful eventually. All right, the guy's not an Overwatch. Means this guy's not pinned anymore. So. What I can do... Okay. Step to here, full cover. 44% chance. Or do I... Can I get a grenade into place? No, I cannot. 44% chance to hit. I don't like it. I'm going to Overwatch it. 42%, not enough, I don't like it, I'm gonna hunker down. And this, not enough. What do we got cover-wise? Half cover, half cover. It's a alien, there's three aliens that I can see. Think. Currently in full cover. Think overwatching you is good idea. Can she do it? Man, she is on fire! My spent. Your weapon is spent because you're doing your goddamn job. That is... She has been very effective. We have a good flank going here, right? Oh, no. See, this guy... This guy is the opposite of that girl. He... Right, we got three over... If, if, there we go. Alright. <laughs> I see the weak link on my team. That was a very effective turn. I think what I want to do is get to here and potentially see if I can get a flank. I actually can't even see him, can I? Can I get a grenade in on him? Right there. Two damage, man. Very resilient, aren't they? Step to here. We're out of ammo. I blundered there. Let's just move you back for safety. If we go to here, we're in full cover. Full cover and we can see him. Can we get a grenade to him? No, but we can overwatch in case he tries to move. If we step to here, What's our chance? 29. Don't like it. We're going to do a hunker down. And this person, if we move him to here, will he have a shot? Probably going to be like 20, 27. Nope, don't like it. We're going to have to hunker down. And team number two. Can you see from here? 24%. Don't like it. We'll have you hunker down. He just, he has none of my, none of my crap. Alright. What happens if we move here? We have a 95. He's down. Good work out there, strike one. There we go. Zero operatives lost. Ten aliens killed. It was intense. It was, uh, I mean, it's the first mission of the game, but I went into this thinking it was going to be hard and so I'm approaching every situation like it's going to be scary and um, thankfully we came out on top for this mission so let us head back to HQ. Alright and before this video HQ, Commander. I'm Central Officer Bradford my role in this project is twofold, providing tactical support for our field operations and keeping you briefed on the current situation. My efforts should allow you to focus on the bigger issues at hand. Speaking of which, we have a soldier waiting for a promotion in the barracks. I'll let you get to it. All right, we have a bunch of people that are very tired and one person who's hurt, but we all 
they all promote it. All right. So, um, as far as this video is concerned, we've done the mission. Uh, I would like to uh, upgrade all of the guys in preparation. Maybe do the um, quick research, start our research project, maybe a build project. Uh, and then we will see where we're at and I'll probably conclude this video. So let's take a look. We have the heavy weapons specialist. The specialist. To the squad. We have a. With the rocket launcher in tow, there are demolition. All right, we have rockets and suppression. I, I, you can't undervalue the power of a good rocket. Don't know what to expect from rocketeers in this game. Again, I am going in completely blind. Um, but let us go. But we're going rockets. All right, Our specialists. Specialize in dealing massive amounts of damage from afar, but without sufficient training, they're vulnerable in close combat situations. All right, lightning reflexes. Lightning reflexes is very useful for getting in, getting out. Um, firing in sight radius. Commander to the research labs. Commander to the research labs. Okay, so the thought process here is do I need somebody who can get in and kind of scout out a situation or somebody who can provide extra vision? Squad Sight has always been very powerful, but Lightning Reflexes was always great on the Assault class, which this is obviously not the Assault class. It's Commander to the research um, labs. Commander to the research labs. a specialist. Don't know what to expect. I think what I want to do is actually go for the Lightning Reflexes, so... I need somebody who can reposition safely. Just Other specialists, to support or they're, I think they're all gonna say specialists, but, all right, Grenadier or Medic. I personally always like having a Medic. The assault class serves as our all right, the standard shots no longer end the turn. Present or run and gun, you can fire an overwatch after dashing. Very powerful. I personally love light em up. I love the ability to shoot and reposition. We're gonna go with that. We have a support. Grenadier or field medic. We already have our field medic. We're gonna run a grenadier. And we can get suppression, but I kind of want another rocket. Did I make the right choices? No idea. But we're going to roll with it. The recovered artifacts are being unloaded, and the research team is waiting your orders. We'll get started as soon as you give the order, Commander. You got it, Valhalla. Val Valent, Val whatever her name is. Um, all right, research. Hello, Commander. Greetings. My name is Dr. Valen. I oversee the research Can you labs. Say that again? This is where all of XCOM's research and development takes place. We have already begun analyzing the artifacts recovered from our first encounter with the aliens. Based on our preliminary findings, we believe we can use them to develop some new equipment for our soldiers. With your approval, we will begin research immediately. You got it. All right, starting your research project. What do we got? Xenobiology and alien weaponry. Alien weaponry is very useful. I tend to put more stock in armor, but weapons are very powerful. Um, and xenobiology is definitely what you need to progress through the game. It's, it's what o unlocks all of the storyline research projects. Um, I want to open personally with alien weaponry and try and get some upgraded weapons as quick as I can. Commander, I realize our troops have to put their own survival first, but... Every alien we use explosives against is one less opportunity yes, to Yes, yes, explosives are not good. You know, 
I, I gotta I gotta stay safe. I gotta throw grenades. All right, uh, engineering. Commander, I was wondering when you'd be stopping by. Right now. Welcome to engineering. Anything they can dream up in the research labs, we can build it here. Speaking of which, Dr. Valen has just sent us some new schematics. With your approval, we will begin fabrication. Of course. All right. So here's the facilities. If you have not played, this is where you get a level of base building. You essentially need to keep power. Um, satellites will help you um, reduce the panic in other countries. It, and you get uh, visuals more often on UFOs that are flying. Or I guess that would be a UFO flying. Anyway. Um, lost my train of thought. But you build your upgrades to your base in here. But they take time and money, which is uh, tough. I mean, that's, that's hard to do, especially when you need to excavate and to go downward you need access lifts. So what I want to do is excavate this and go back. Well, when that's done excavating, I'm going to turn that into a power location. But what I want to make auto loader. These are I need to read some of these because I have not seen them before. These are the shiv. These are the um, robots that I can take into combat instead of a human so that if it dies it's not as painful. Satellites are always really useful though because they lower the panic. Auto loader. Oh, I guess the auto loader is inside the shiv. I think what I want to do is make two satellites to have them ready. Um, carry, carry in place of a pistol. That sounds really useful too. But I want to wait on that. I'm going to go back. I think I'm going to wait for that to excavate. I'm going to wait for the satellites. Not before I do a mission, but you know, before I um, make too many decisions on how the layout of my base is going to be. Well, we beat the first mission. We have our research notes. We have projects going in the engineering bay. And we have no casualties. And our team has been assembled with people that are no longer recruits. I feel like this is a wonderful start to the series. Um, if you liked it, please like, subscribe, and comment. Point out any mistakes I made if you want. Point out things I can improve on. If you want uh, your name to be one of the crew members, please leave a comment uh, with what you want the name be. Uh, the first ones that I see or ones that particularly make me laugh, I will set as, as um, squad names. Uh, and hopefully we can progress from here. Uh, but with that, I'm uh, Icebound, and thank you for watching.